This video will discuss the solubility product of sparingly soluble salts. So let's assume that we have the following reaction here. We have some metal with, and it is in a salt with some corresponding uh, counter ion. So metal, uh, and there's an anion there. So there's X, uh, there's X atoms of the metal in the salt and Y atoms of the counter ion. So this is in equilibrium with being dissolved into some aqueous solution. So this equilibrium constant here is going to be for the reaction of X metal cations plus Y uh, corresponding counter anions. If we wanted to write the equilibrium constant of this reaction in terms of activities, we'd have for our products AM to the X times, a, times AA to the Y divided by, and then for our reactants, there's just a coefficient of one there, A, M, X, A, Y. Since this is a solid from our discussion on condensed phase activity, the activity of a solid is always assumed to be one as long as the pressure is reasonably close to the standard pressure and fairly constant throughout the reaction. So this gives us an equilibrium constant, which is a special kind of equilibrium constant that we will call a solubility product. So for a given sparingly soluble salt, its solubility product is going to be the activity of the metal to the power of the number of atoms in the salt times the activity of the counter anion to, to the power of the number of it in the salt. All right, so if we assume we have some electrochemical cell where we can generate this as our net reaction, then what we'd have is the standard Gibbs energy of reaction is equal to negative number of moles of electrons flowing times Faraday's constant times the standard EMF of the cell. And this would also be equal to negative gas constant times temperature times the natural log of our equilibrium constant, which is our solubility product, Ksp. So putting these two together, we have the natural log of the Ksp is equal to number of moles of electrons times Faraday's constant over gas constant times temperature times the standard EMF of the cell. Or Ksp is equal to the exponential of Nf E0 cell over Rt. Okay, so what would be an example of how we could do this in practice? So let's say we have the following uh, setup for some electrodes here. We have lead to plus in aqueous solution plus two electrons getting reduced to solid lead. And we have, on the other side, we have lead iodide, so lead 2 iodide, I assume, with iodide minus 1 ions here. Solid lead 2 iodide plus 2 electrons goes to uh, 2 aqueous iodide anions plus solid lead. And then we have also the, that the uh, net reaction, when we add these two together, is going to give us lead iodide yields aqueous lead two cations plus two uh, iodide aqueous anions. All right, we have our, as we have it written here, um, this is going to be the reduction. So standard reduction potential of this cell is negative 0.364 volts. So that is going to occur at our cathode. Our anode is gonna be the reverse of this reaction, standard reduction potential of negative 0.126 volts. So the standard EMF of the cell for our net reaction is going to be negative 0.364 volts minus negative 0.126 volts, giving us a standard EMF of the cell of negative 0.238 volts. Okay, so our Ksp is going to be the exponential of how many electrons flow during this reaction. That's going to be 2. 2 times 96,485 coulombs per mole is F. The E naught of the cell, uh, do I have that in the top there? Yes, negative 0.238 joules per uh, coulomb, I believe that should be instead of mole, divided by 8.314 joules per mole coulomb times 298.15 Kelvin, if I assume this reaction is occurring at 298 Kelvin. So the result there would be that the solubility product for lead to iodide is 8.98 times 10 to the minus 9. 
So using some electrochemical cell for which the net reaction was the dissolving of this sparingly soluble salt into aqueous solution, we were able to measure the standard EMF of this cell, use that to derive the solubility product, which is the equilibrium constant for dissolving this sparingly soluble salt into aqueous solution.